All right. Hopefully you can see me correctly. Um, this vlog will be a little bit of a combination between things from last week that I didn't put in my vlog yet because uh, it was getting quite long and then some stuff from this week. Um, I went to yoga in the evening, which I don't usually do anymore, but it was actually, it was lovely. I realized that doing yoga in the evening is actually really refreshing because I feel like there's no time limit. I was in the morning, it's like, oh, I have to get to work after this, so you, like, you can't stay in chat too long and stuff like that. And just during yoga, you're like, oh, I wonder how many unread emails I've got right now, <laughs> which is so stupid, but yeah. So yoga in the evening is actually lovely. I just feel like at the end of the day, I just don't want to do it. But um, yeah, I had a very positive experience, so maybe I should do it more. Um, I want to print my book this week for real. Like I said, I've been saying it in the previous three vlogs, so yeah, I need to do it. I need to print it. And my trip is like really coming up now. Yeah. Work, work, work. Living the American dream. Bugs are quieting down now though. It's lovely. It's actually not even that hot outside. Yesterday during the storm it cooled down to like 19 degrees Celsius, which was so refreshing. Oh my gosh, it felt amazing. Okay, I just watched that clip back and I think the background noise was just as loud as without the microphone, but <laughs> I'll keep on trying. Alright, let's check out some fruit. Do have a couple of blackberries too. I think the plant is. Ooh, there's a bug on it. Sorry. It's kind of coming to an end. Thank you. There we go. Two blackberries. And I think that's all. This one's already eaten, so I'm not going to pick it up. But there's more. Check this out. Apparently, I'm scaring people by saying that I'm scared to step on snakes. So, um, I don't know. I am scared of stepping on snakes, so it doesn't mean that it's a very realistic fear. Though... <laughs> It's definitely happened. <laughs> Not that I stepped on it, but that I, that one was in front of me and I almost stepped on it. Regardless. This is our fig tree and it, the winter, it was like spring was here and then all of a sudden winter came back. So it died a little bit, but we got a bunch of figs actually. Wow. We got way more figs than I thought we did. Not any ripe ones yet, though. Looks like that is so cool. All right, we'll be back to pick you later on. Unfortunately, that's all we've got in terms of fruit trees. Um, we have this is a pear tree, but it didn't produce any this year. Whereas usually it, we've got like we get like thousands of pears. Not this time. Um, we got some blackberry, obviously blackberry, um, I think we got a blueberry and maybe a raspberry bush as well. But uh, yeah, like I said, the winter was kind of weird this year and it killed a lot of our plants. So we've not got that much this year, but it's fine. That's how it goes sometimes. And then we've got lots of tomatoes. So let's check that out. We're coming towards the end of the season, so there isn't that much left. Um, what a like, it's a baby um, cucumber or something. Oh no, it's not. It's huge. <laughs> it's probably a cucumber or squash or something like that. Um, like a little too much is. The little ones always do really well. Big ones usually get eaten before we can pick them. Oh, look, this one's perfect. Look. Oh, 
there's some more down here, but I think they're already not so good anymore. Look at these leaves. I don't know what that is, but we'll find out. Trying to edit my video, find some copyright free music. Let these little buddies join me. No. It's Sunday morning, or actually it's the afternoon, but the last thing I want to do right now is work out, but we're here, so we're gonna do it. I am sweating in my car because it's dead or you can't hear me because of the AC <laughs> so you know can't win them all but I feel like I had a pretty productive day and it's only 2 p.m. so that's lovely I went to the dump went to work to the gym and now I'm off to the supermarket so very similar to next week you know what my life ain't that interesting. Having a protein bar. Bar. I quite like these. I'm actually not hungry. <laughs> um, because I just had lunch like an hour ago. But I can't let this laying in the car while I go shopping because it's gonna be hot. So I'm just gonna eat it. I mean, I guess I could take it with me. But I'm always afraid when I have stuff in my bag. Um, that people at the shop are gonna like ask me to look in my bag and then they're gonna think I stole it even though they don't even sell this at Lidl <laughs> turning this into a mukbang except for I don't have shit to talk about I can't take my left turn because everybody's running a red light that's annoying but watch new You know what, I go to three different gyms here, they're all like the same brand, so you can just go to whichever one you want. So old men at the gym, right, um, it's a public gym, there's no age, well there's like a young, young age limit, but not old. Um, it's fine, but for some reason old men love to talk to me, and then um, they ask me how old I am. I said 27 and they're like really surprised every time they're like oh I thought you were 17 and um, it's not a compliment two days ago I was at the gym and this happened again this person was like standing really close to me like 30 centimeters like one feet away from my face talking to me really quietly and then um, once again he asked me how old I was and I said 27 and he said oh, I thought you were 15 and then he told me he was 81 and I was like okay whatever but he kind of kept on talking to me or like standing by me and I was like waiting for him to leave so I could continue working out and then he didn't really leave so then I was like okay I just continue going and I, <laughs> I kind of I just said like have a nice day or something or see you next time to kind of make him aware that like our conversation was over and then he left and I told Eric about it and Eric's like well if he's 81 years old and he thought you were 15 why the hell is he talking to you 
And I was like, that's such a good point. Now, now he made it creepy. I didn't think it was creepy. I, was, I just accepted it. I was like, okay, whatever. An old man like to talk to me. If a chat with me it makes their day, I'm happy. But I could be a part of it. Anyway, I'm, I'm sweating, so I'm gonna stop filming and turn on the AC. Ciao. today's episode of playing with the Gilbert. Morning. How is it going? We are finally off. <laughs> like that took forever. I was like ready to go probably 20 minutes ago and then all of a sudden there's like a two things I needed to do and it's not a big deal. I'm not in a hurry or anything but yeah whatever. Um, I don't as you can see don't have the microphone clipped on mostly because I forgot but also because I feel like it actually makes the sound worse than without the microphone because I did try to record a podcast in a car once before and um <laughs> just waving at the neighbor <laughs> not do not doing the in-betweeners don't worry um yeah I tried to record something in the car before with the microphone and it actually sounded way worse than when I did not use the microphone so there is that. I did not sleep well last night. I think I'm just stressed for my trip. And I know that's such a 
it's so silly like I'm so privileged to travel and to get to do this but I am I'm like worried about our cats <laughs> and I know someone is gonna come and look after the cats and Eric's still gonna be here for a while but it's uh, I don't know I'm worried about them I feel bad that I cannot explain to them or well I can explain it but they won't understand that I'm going to be gone so I'm like hey cats I'm leaving for seven weeks but I really love you but they won't understand that and then all of a sudden I'm just not gonna be there and I feel so bad about that and it's so it's so silly I think I talked about this before on my Instagram but yeah and it's not bright I might have to double glass over here this is what I do a lot actually because I don't like to wear my contacts Anymore. My eyes are really dry. I don't know if it's hay fever or what's going on, but yeah, super dry eyes. So I just do the double glasses. Something else I wanted to talk about is um, talking about traveling online because I was always taught by my parents um, and siblings, I think, that you shouldn't share on social media that you're going on a trip just because people can take that information and use it against you like they're like oh I guess they're on vacation so there's no one in their house so we can go break in now and steal all their stuff which of course hopefully the people that follow you on social media don't think like that but it is a possibility so I'm careful about that I don't usually share anything about my trip until after I'm back or if there's someone else at the house uh, watching over the house and the animals and stuff that I'm not too worried about it and that's the case for this upcoming trip there's at all times there's going to be someone at our house so um, I am not worried about talking about this trip in real time can I just give a shout out to the people who comment on my vlogs or even send me personal messages about them it's so kind because I I feel really awkward about it I'm I'm not new to it but I am right but I really appreciate all the kind words and feedback is welcome too of course I know the quality of these videos is not good but um, hopefully it will increase soon I'm gonna get my camera back when my sister comes to visit um, when we're both in the Netherlands I need to remind her <laughs> to bring it to me so I'm gonna have a little camera and it's it's not the greatest or anything but it's probably better than my phone and then in terms of sound I just I feel like I can't do too much about it of course I can um, buy a different microphone but I feel like I'm not ready to invest in that yet my vlogs are about showing the reality of life and this is the reality of my life poor quality <laughs> lots of fun poor quality this guy is riding my ass crack get out of there it's in between my butt cheeks right now i don't know honestly why i do that i know i need to break quite hard here so you need to chill so Let me drop the trash. Do you guys still have hand sanitizer around? We keep it in the car. It's uh, quite convenient. Anyway, I'm super chatty this morning. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna be so chatty. I thought that I was very low energy, but here we are. It is five past nine, so um, that's fine. I'm starting to get warm though, so I think I'm gonna stop filming, turn on the music, and turn on the air conditioning. So, um, hopefully the next clip is me printing my book. <laughs> Fingers crossed.
behave myself. I am so annoyed with myself because I never ask for help. And that's like one of my main weaknesses. Don't I don't ask for help in time. Now, I was like, I was successful in terms of I printed my book. I was like, I'll do two pages on one and then double-sided print so that I'm not so that I'm not wasting too much paper and so that it's not too much paper to take on a plane with me, but it did not print double-sided. So now I've got 94 pages of paper and I'm really sad about it. I had to pay for it as well, which is not a big deal. But I should just ask for help. I checked all the printing settings. I couldn't find anything about double-sided printing. So maybe the printer just didn't have that option. But I, I really doubt that. Like, which printer can't do that? So annoyed. I was too rushed to do it. Because I was filming this vlog. And I was like, I need to do it today if I wanted to be a part of this vlog. Blah, blah, blah. And that's literally why I did it. And now here we are. And it's not what I wanted it to be. I'm so annoyed with myself. I should just ask for help. Like the people working there are so friendly as well. It's a public library. People are very helpful, very friendly there. I should have just asked for help. But I was already thinking like, it's wishful thinking for me to bring this book with me on the airplane and read the entire thing. Even though it is um, probably 14 hours of traveling or of flights. I'm not sure actually, I think it's 16 hours in total with transfer and stuff, but I could be wrong. But yeah, I, I already knew it was wishful thinking because who's gonna read? Well, I know a lot of people do, but I don't mind reading a little bit on an airplane, but um, it is also, they also do have movies on the flight, so like, of course I'm just gonna watch a movie. I already know that. And when you're, when you're getting your meals and stuff, I don't know why there is a stroller there without anyone with it. That's super strange. I think I should just reprint all the uneven pages on the back of all the even pages. <laughs> but then I have to throw away half of it, which it, uh, it is what it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so depressed. <laughs> I know I sound so annoyed right now because I am obviously, but I'm also, it's like, I know it's not the end of the world. I'm not mad about it. I'm. I'm annoyed with myself for not asking for help, but it's a learning opportunity. It's a, a space for growth, one could say. So next time I go there, I can ask them to please help me print double-sided 